I think there's a big misconception about tenure. It's not a guarantee of a lifetime job. It's simply that uh, a tenured professor should only be dismissed for cause. We leave it to the university to decide what cause is. There are obvious things, not showing up for class, research fraud, sexual harassment. Those are uh, obvious things. Uh, but then uh, only after a due process procedure with, a, with a, essentially a jury of their peers. So it really isn't lifetime. It's a protection for academic freedom. And you're right, the erosion of the tenure system in the last several decades is, I would argue, the single biggest threat to academic freedom and ultimately to the quality of higher education in the United States. That now three quarters of people who teach in American colleges and universities have, are not only not tenured, they have no access to the tenure track. The image of the privileged elite professor who is tenured is, it's, it's a shrinking uh, group in every university, even in elite schools. So, uh, and, and the result is very dangerous. And if I have, the, if I can, let me give you, a, a, I think a very good illustrative example. There was a community college instructor uh, in Colorado, uh, philosophy instructor taught an introductory class. He'd been teaching it for a number of years. He's an, uh, a part-time adjunct. Uh, and he was instructed to start teaching a new curriculum designed to encourage student graduation. Well, he thought it was a curriculum more suitable to a middle school than a college. He thought it would not prepare his students for a four-year school. Uh, but he dutifully taught it, uh, but decided to write a letter to the accrediting agency saying that, you know, raising questions about it. And he very, uh, you know, judiciously gave it to the administration to say, make sure I'm not making any factual mistakes in here. Well, within two days, an administrator was observing his class, and four days after that, he was summarily dismissed, allegedly for teaching violations so severe that they had to, but it was, it was a pretense. It was, it strains credulity to believe that that's why he was, he was fired. Uh, and um, uh, it was, and it highlights a number of things. Here he was exercising his academic freedom to speak about institutional concerns, the nature of the curriculum, what he was teaching. Uh, and, he, and he had no job security. There's no unions allowed in Colorado community colleges. So he, uh, uh, he could just simply be dismissed. And the irony here is we were able to investigate it in the AAUP and we put them on what we call our censure list. But had they been a little more clever, less brazen, shall we say, and not fired him, simply let him finish teaching the course and then said, oh, we're not rehiring you, you know, we would have been a much more difficult position to try to show how this was really a violation of his academic freedom, when in fact we would have known that that was the real reason he was dismissed. So this is the kind of thing, I think, that we see happening uh, and, and that really is my biggest concern about academic freedom.